Last year, over 2,600 animals found a soft place to land at Sonoma Humane Society. Thanks to the support of a compassionate community, animals with myriad needs are able to find hope and second chances. 80% of the animals we take in require special medical care. 35% spend time rehabilitating in foster homes and all receive individualized behavior support and enrichment. We often don't get much of a backstory from the animals. We can only cushion the harsh realities of their pasts and work to heal their bodies and souls and help them find their way into new hearts and onto new couches. Each and every one has a story to tell, their own unique journey. Athena is a senior pit bull who came to us with treatable medical concerns, but was most in need of someone to guide her through her golden years with love and acceptance. Bogart, a quiet stray cat who required a special diet and arthritis medication, seemed like an unlikely match for the goofy, gregarious dog. But somehow, the pair's adopters make it work with humor and grace. When when we first spent um, some time with Athena out in the yard here, um, it was absolutely the experience that I want to have um, with a dog and have had with, um, with another dog that we had, Vaquero. Um, just her demeanor, her attentive nature, and, uh, and that absolutely heart-melting uh, look you straight in the eyes, um, kind of uh, adoring look that, that she can give, and uh, it was it was all there. And when we adopted them, everyone said, "Oh, what are you going to name her?" Like she's nine years old. I think we'll we'll keep calling her Athena. You know, same with Bogart. Yeah. Bogey, we call him Bogey. Yeah. These two. Um, really got close to each other really really close and uh, quicker quicker than we thought and um, it's surprising that um, that they ended up being good friends and they spent time on the couch together obviously and throughout the house we could be outside doing gardening or something and come in and they both are right next to each other on the couch they could be anywhere in the house and they're just cuddled up keeping warm. We are a team taking care of the animals and the animals uh, help take care of us as well to remind us to slow down and enjoy the simple things like uh, taking the dog for a walk or even out to go pee um, or sitting with the cat giving, giving them a little back scratches or whatever and, uh, and fully relaxing. After a life of neglect, Ginger arrived in need of surgery for a serious and irremedial eye condition. In foster care with one of our veterinary technicians, she recovered well and began learning to navigate the world as a blind dog. When a couple who had experience with special needs pets fell in love with her picture on our website, they began visiting Ginger, putting in the time to build trust and create a comfortable home for her things that I really like about her that, that touch my heart are the way she follows me down the hall to the bedroom at night when we go to bed. She just, I just tell her to come to bed and she follows my voice and my footsteps. And then sometimes she takes a little trek over to the cat bowl to see what the cats had for dinner and then uh, moves on and comes in to bed with us. Um, we sleep with her every night. We have both dogs in bed. All of her animals are rescues. Um, and I didn't know if I wanted to take over, take over um, or take on another uh, dog with a lot of baggage. But I'm really glad we did because she's, uh, um, on the way home, she just warmed up to us like she'd known us all her life.
Bubba was brought to us as a stray in need of medical attention. He had fresh injuries, as well as old battle scars, including a damaged ear and fractured teeth. In spite of his rough and tumble appearance and the fact that he tested positive for FIV, Bubba is a lover, not a fighter. He found someone who recognizes and adores his social nature. The things that Bubba does that warms my heart are, I tr honestly, truly believe he likes me. You know, and that makes you feel good. But he smacks my hand if I'm not putting food in the bowl fast enough. He follows me around, he sleeps on my chest. One thing I would like to point out about Bubba is his uniqueness. How many cats do you know with a cauliflower ear? How many cats do you know that's flipping the bird? He's missing two of the toes on the back foot. So the one foot, you know, the thumb is always like thumbs up. So I assumed he was saying thumbs up about coming to my house. So I had no hesitations about getting a cat, but it had to be the right cat. And he'd been here for a number of months. And I thought, you know what? You need to spot. You need to come home. What's the common thread in each of these animal stories? Their safety net is woven with the commitment to see that no animal suffers. The dedication from staff and volunteers who show them kindness and friendship. And your compassion. Which makes each journey to good health and a loving home all possible. You're going to be with me till the end. You're never having to leave again. I want him to know that. Kind of like a marriage vow. I don't believe in throwaway pets.